Driving on Highway 60, people may not even notice these old storefronts they pass by every day. Captain James Lopez came back to his hometown area of Globe, Miami to beautify the city and to lend a hand. It kind of gives you a sense of pride, you know, because you can't, you can't walk down the street with a bunch of closed storefronts and, you know, fading signs and broken windows and feel good about it. You know, it's like living in the slums. And you know what happens? You drive down the street and you're all saying, somebody should do something about that. Well, somebody's doing something about it. It's all part of a four-year project between Taliesin Frank Lloyd Wright School of Architecture and the cities of Globe and Miami. All ages came out today armed with paintbrushes and energy to give new life to historic buildings like the one you see behind me. Students from Taliesin, like Jaime Inestroza, teamed up with volunteers to help create desert murals and take the time to get to know the community. Yes. The, the most important thing I think is to listen to people and how to understand being in the shoes of that people. And from that, create something, architecture, that engaged the whole community, I think. And the community is ready. We have such amazing architecture here, and a lot of it's neglected, and uh, it won't be for long. So. It is the actual physical addition of hope. Globe Miami has been called the heart of Arizona and the last best small towns in the state. But it's the community putting heart back into the place they call home. For the Cronkite School, I'm Kate Pfeiffer.